Again, welcome to Python Programming Language CS101. Uh, this lecture has covered the decision structures using the total graphics to determine the state of the total. So we are going to learn how to use the decision statements. So our main objective, again, total graphics determine the state of the total using, again, decision statements. Here we say we can use functions in the total graphics library to learn a lot about the current state. So here we have total.xcor. The xcor stands for the x coordinate. So the xcor function return the s coordinate or tell us the s coordinate. And then total.y coordinate or ycor is the y coordinate function. And it return the total's S and Y coordinates at that very particular position in our plane. So example of calling these functions in the if statement is, if total.y coordinate is less than zero, which means it's a negative value, we want the total to come to the original position, which is when S and Y are zero, the origin. Now we use the go to function to return the point to a specific position based on the parameter or the argument of go to function. Now the second example said if the total dot s coordinate function is greater than 100 and also total dot s coordinate function is less than 200, we want to return s back to zero with y to get a zero. So we say total dot go to zero and zero. Now the total dot heading function returns the total's heading. So by default, again, the heading is returned in degrees. So this is an example of calling the function using if statement. Here we say that if total dot heading is greater or equal to 90, and also total dot heading is less than or equal to 270, then we want to set the heading to 180. So again, the function set heading will set the heading to the value we gave in the function argument. In this case, we are setting the head heading to 180. The next is total dot is down function. Is down function normally will return true if the pen is down. Uh, otherwise, it will return false. The whole concept of whether the pen is down or up, we know when the pen is up, maybe we can write or we cannot write. When the pen is down, we can write or we cannot write. So those, that's the main goal here. So example of calling the function in the if statement will be, if the total dot is down, which means the pen is down, we want to bring the pen up. So we call the function dot pen up, total dot pen up. Now, if not total dot is down, which means the pen is not down, then we want to bring the pen down. So we say total dot pen down. Another example is using the is visible function. Is visible function will return true if again the total is visible, otherwise it return false if the total is not visible. So example here, if the total dot is visible, which means we can see it, if this is true, we want to hide it. So we call the function hide total. So total dot hide total to hide it. Next, we have the pen color uh, function. Here we say when you call the total dot pen color without passing an argument, the function will return the pen's current color as a string. So example of calling the function in an if statement will be if total dot pen color is red, which again in Python we use two equal sign to check equality. So we are checking if the pen color is red. If the pen color is red, we want to change it to blue. So total dot pen color blue. Now, when you call total dot fill color without passing an argument, the function returns the current fill color as a string. So example of calling a function 
using the if statement, we say, okay, if total dot fill color is blue, then we want to change it to white. So total dot fill color white. Next, when you call a total dot B, BG is the background color, background BG. So BG color without passing an argument, the function return the current background color as a string. So example of calling the function in an if statement, here we are saying that if the background color is white, we want to change it to gray. So BG color gray. Now, when you call a total dot pen size, without passing an argument, the function return the, pen, the pen's current size as a string. Again, we use this function in our previous lectures. Uh, the pen size will tell us the thickness of whatever we are writing or drawing. So example here is which we say, okay, if the total dot pen size is less than three, we want to set it to three. So total dot pen size is three. So here we are checking first, is it less than three? Yes, then set it to three. Next also the speed. We can also call the total dot speed with us passing an argument. Here the function will return the current animation speed. So example here is if the total dot speed is greater than zero, we want to set it to zero. Now next, this is an example of a code in our textbook, which is the hit the target game. Uh, what this game does is that we are, it's again, graphical user interface using the total packages. We have a screen with a target and we are going to hit the target. And that's the, this is the output of the program. For example, here, the access, enter the projector angle, enter the launch force, and then you miss the target. What is that we draw our window, then we draw the location where the target is. So now you are going to hit the target by showing the projector angle and also the launch force that will give us. So for example, the second one, we enter the projectile's angle to be 67, and also the launch force is 9.8, and this value hit the target. So let's see how the code works. Again, this code is based on using the tag, uh, the total packages, and the methods, etc. So first of all, we have some few, we have to import our totals since we are using the total package. So we import the total. Then we set our window size. Uh, the screen width is 600. The screen height is 600. Then we set our target. So we can see the screen is bigger than the, the target will be inside the screen. So with the target, the X is 100, then the Y is 250. Then the target width is 25. The force factor is 30. This will be the arbitrary force factor. Then we also have the projector speed, which is set to one. That will be the animation. Then we have the angle of a north direction is 90. The angle of the south direction is 270. The angle of the east direction is zero. The angle of the west direction is 180. Now we need to set up the window. So we call the setup method, total.setup. Uh, when we set up the window, we have to specify the screen width and also the height, which is given here to be 600 by 600. After that, we need to draw our target. So now we have our window. We have to draw the target inside the window. Let's look. The, so this is, we have our window here. That's what we drew right now. Now we are going to draw the, uh, draw the target now. The, for example, the window is 600 from beginning to the end but we can see where the target start from. So the target we can say is between 450 to 470, very short. That's for the X. Then we also get the Y coordinate. So here we can see that uh, with the target, we need the S and Y. And then we, again, the target left X and Y is already given to us here. The left X is 100. 
and the left y is 250. And also the target width and the first and the force factor is also given to us. So here we set our values for the target positions. Then now we are going to set our yeah, we have we went to the tag uh, the target, go to the target, whatever the left x and the left y, which we saw in our previous. Uh, let's go back one. So L left X is 100, L left Y is 250. So we start from 100 to 50. Then we put the pen down because we want to again write. So total dot pen down. So the first thing we do, we set the heading to be hist. Then we forward, we went to the target width. The target width is given to us already, which is 25. And the force factor also is given to us to be 30. So we set the target width. We also set the heading to not. We went forward with the target width again, set heading west, then forward again the target width because it's a square, two by two, and then set the heading. Then next, the total forward, we go forward by the target width. Then we finish writing the target, drawing the target, so we bring the pen up. Again, pen up means we cannot write on the screen no more. Now we're going to center the total. So we have go to zero, zero, the origination. We set the heading to east. Then we show the total. Uh, so we'll see it in our, our screen. Then we set the speed to projectile speed, which is given to us beginning of the, the so the projectile speed is one. That's the animation speed. So after that, we get the angle and the force from the user. So this is the two values that will determine whether we hit the target or not. We already set the target position. So when we enter the two values, which is the projector angle and the launch force, the launch force should be between one to 10 value. Then in this case, we are going to calculate the distance. So the distance will be four times the projector factor. Then we set the heading to angle, then we launch the projector. So the pen down, uh, total dot forward the distance, which was given to us earlier. We can see here, we enter the distance. Actually, we enter the angle and force, then we find the distance, force times force factor. So we said, okay, total dot forward the distance, did it hit the target? And now we have our condition. If S coordinate is greater than or equal to the target left and total S coordinate is less than or equal to target left X plus the target width and total dot Y coordinate is greater than or equal to the target L left Y and total dot Y coordinate less than or equal to target L left Y plus target width. So if the condition here is met based on the values of the target L left X, and the S and Y coordinates, then we say we hit the target. Otherwise, we didn't hit the target. So here in our output, we can see that we hit the target based on the values given to us. We can see the arrow hit the target. So that would be the conclusion for these lectures. Again, these lectures, we cover the total packages. And again, we start covering the total package from the first week of the class. In this section, we just learned how we can use the if statement, the decision statement with the total packages and some of the functions that it comes with. So again, wish everybody the best and thank you.